Lebanon. I came to GBSB in uh, the campus of Barcelona in 2019 to make my MSc in Digital Marketing and E-Commerce. Hey guys, and I'm David. I'm 32 years old. I also joined GBSB in 2019 and I did my MBA in Marketing Management. To sum it up in a few words, uh, actually uh, GBSB was the key for me to get a step further in my career. Uh, it opened for me the door to Europe, you know, since I'm from the Middle East and um, the whole experience at GBSB and being on campus was all about meeting professionals, learning from them uh, because our teachers really had experience in the field and like more than listening to the courses but having those conversations with them and learning from their career, it was one of the best things I ever had at GBSB and on a side note, like the fact that we have international colleagues and most of our friends were from all over the world and meeting them and having friends that we will call like or we call already like friends for life uh, was as well my favorite thing at GBSB. So I totally agree with him that uh, one of the main aspects and best experience of GBSB was definitely the international environment we studied in and we have been in and the people we met actually from all over the world Europe and South America and Asia. Yeah, the whole experience was uh, very unique, so to say. Uh, I got the chance to, to study abroad and I took it and I'm very happy to do so. Uh, further on with my professional life, it also really gave me a new point of view, new main knowledge basically also for the future. So that was basically the experience in a nutshell. <laughs> David and I met, uh, even though like I was doing my uh, MSc in digital marketing in, in e-commerce and he was doing his MBA. Uh, well, the second good thing about GBSB is that uh, we like from all the majors can have like some courses together. And I remember that we had the marketing research course. Mm -hmm. And if you see in the picture, I don't know guys if you're gonna show the picture, that I once posted a story with David's head in it <laughs> saying that uh, my favorite class and actually David was um, in a group, in a work group with my uh, roommate uh, and they were sitting right in front of me so I was always looking at David but like not in a like more than friendly way until no until, until really <laughs> until we uh, had the welcome party and the moment I saw him I was like oh damn <laughs> I think he's the one for me, but I didn't say much. Like, that was it. Yeah, uh, I agree. <laughs> I agree, really, like, uh, I think we really just had a very, very short conversation. Kind of like five minutes. But she really, like, uh, left an impression on me. And uh, that sticked for me, actually, the whole term. So, yeah, the first kickoff was quite interesting. But the, the first real meeting was on a Christmas market, like, in December. Few months later uh, yeah a few months later and this is where things started to evolve a bit yeah, getting more serious so exactly I... so uh, yeah it was all uh, around magic. GBSP people in the GBSP campus magic in the air the small history led into a big future actually after graduating we were both searching for jobs but I knew I wanted to stay in Europe and he didn't really want to come back to Vienna yet. He wanted to stay one more year outside. Um, but we applied to several jobs. We got so many interviews and we both just got like accepted in two jobs in Vienna. So for us, it was like a, a, sign. a big sign that we have to be together and um, yeah, to Vienna together. And, um, and it went smoothly since the start, actually. It was very smooth as if we were meant to be. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it involved, involved, and now we're actually planning since almost half a year the next big step, biggest step actually from all, uh, which is our wedding. We went to Lebanon to meet my family to meet because your family for the first time. Yeah. I did know them of course, but just like via you know, FaceTime and Skype. So it was the first time to meet them in person and I knew that I want to propose. Uh, I was just waiting for the right moment when we were on our holidays in Lebanon and I think I catched the right moment and 
it's with a very nice view it was a very private and nice moment we were really completely alone which was actually the perfect occasion and yeah he popped the question i popped the question and fortunately for me she said yes <laughs> lucky me yeah <laughs> so on the 22nd of may we're gonna officially be husband and wife <laughs> separate a bit from me <laughs> I'm your future husband hello I'm Hint I am <laughs> oh. <laughs> and also our wedding which is gonna be in a few months uh, we're not talking about the wedding yet what is it should be experience no. it's part of it no same. we're not talking about the wedding yet we didn't even say that we met each other they know no. the whole video is about that <laughs> Guys, it was nice to meet you. <laughs> and if you're not invited to the wedding, <laughs> I'm sorry.